short like Rashid and OG. OG. Like, subscribe, and tell your whole street. Load this next episode with love for the whole team. Come yeah, on. let's get serious yeah. for the free period. Uh -oh. And drop a link in the comments because we're hearing it. Shout out to OG. What's happening? What's happening to the scholars, the students of the Masterclass podcast? My name is Rashid K, the Peace Rent God, the head nigga in charge. You already know this is episode 134, 134. And I'm not rolling solo today. I got my main man, Lou Will from the Basic Boys. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We outside. Lou Will Joe Mendice with the most humility. Thank you, head nigga in charge. Peace How you doing, my G? How you doing? Grateful, honored. I'm just very. Let me. As I say, I gotta give my my OG the real <laughs> eyes. Um, honored to be on the yeah. podcast. Thank you so much for inviting shout me. Shout out, shout out for pulling up. You know. Appreciate you so, the long way. This episode, you're my guest co-host. It's not an interview. Yes. No, sir. it's not an interview. Yes. Sir. He's co-hosting with me. He's co-hosting with me. Come on. You huh? know. Uh, shout out to the Lord of Every for the previous episode yes, 133. Sir. Come on now. And and he's the one who linked us up. That's you my know, big homie. That's my shout dog. Out, That's shout my out dog. to Zinga. That's shout out to dog. Zinga. You know, how's your hip hop week been? <sighs> Crazy. Um, I won't lie. You've opened my mind to new artists as well. Not necessarily new. I just I didn't listen to youngster like that. But when you made me listen to him, I have chats about that. But we yeah. it's a, but my hip hop week has been splendid. Yeah, how, I I I I don't have a choice, man. But to how you been? Sorry, because how you been? You on time? We, this week is the big guy. It's the big guy. Hey, next week. hey, how trust you been? Me, trust how you me. been? We I'm 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 from the office right now. Ish. Back to the city, Come crazy. The stage is getting up Come already. On now. You know, so it's always putting in work. Mm -hmm. You know. And the fact that you guys are bringing two new acts, I rate that. The last year you did the nice havoc way, that was nice. Yeah. This year you're doing the Benny Butcher and other homie. Yeah. Come on, big dog. Nah, no, you trust. You're trust, doing well. Trust. You're doing well, big dog. Come you on. You know, shout out, shout out. Yeah, man. And I see a lot of local acts, hip hop acts, are doing well. Are doing well. Come on, no. But what's your take on on nasty C going indie, so living this death is what, jam? I just what I need you to help me in terms of my knowledge of the Def Jam and him situation, right? I'm going to yeah. take it all the way back. Remember the Mabala Noise thing? Yeah, situation? yeah, yeah. So for my knowledge, I thought he left Mabala Noise, then he became indie, then did a distribution deal with the Def Jam. That's what I thought. I didn't think he was full on like a deal with all of the other um, record labels. So if you can just trade in that knowledge out for me, I just thought he was no, like after indie after. Mabala after. Noise, it was... Def Jam, Jam Africa, Africa, which oh, is universal, Versal. okay, which is universal. Before he moved to like Def, Def Jam, Jam, the Def real, Jam, the real the guys, real Def Jam, yeah, you know. So apparently, he just left De Def Jam um, to go indie. I rate for me my my take on it. I really rate it now because, as as you know, every artist that we've bumped into, we've spoken about, they mm. say that they learn the game inside when they're inside when they know the yeah. ins and outs. So him. Getting the opportunity to do it by himself, where he's on his big boss motion, he's a man now. He's a yeah, father. Yeah, I think I think indie is the best move. Indie a lot of times is glorified in the wrong way. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, everyone who's not signed is yeah apparently indie. indie. Yeah, okay. Man, you got a point. Which is not true. Yeah, they're not independent, mm. and there's nothing wrong with signing all these people who are shouting indie indie now mm -hmm. they were signed they wouldn't be where they are without uh, the, without the machine come on without the machine that's what i'm trying to say you, as you, well. you, you know your aries your mt your, your your java for them to 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 say yo i'm indie mm. it's because of the machine that they went through you, yeah you, true. you know true the, the, there are people they started with who didn't go through the machine, mm -hmm. but they still can't claim to be indie because they didn't get that um, initial push. From the machine as from well. From the machine. machine. No, you're right, you're right, you're in, right. You know what I'm saying? So when we're talking indie, we must think that, okay, can you be just indie from the hood to that level? And I want to ask, do you know, yeah. in, in South Africa, if you can give me the knowledge, uh, head nigga in charge, like, is there any successful that we know, prominent, indie artist that never messed with the the, 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 the the label they just did it straight indie like i i i, I pandered i slept on floors i got my in, in my my little gigs here and to get to their brand do we know or have any successful artists like that i'm trying to think man because i trying can't to recall think. i think I'm, majority I'm of us did the machine whether whether 
whether it's a major label or it's an indie label, label as mm. long as it's a it's a label, label. you it's know still signed black you needed a label mm -hmm. you know even with the other genre like Gabs of the small the needed a label. Uh, he needed need the black boy. Into, he needed the black yeah. boy entertainment. He, he needed. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we like indie, indie, indie without understanding mm -hmm. that you being an indie, you won't get that extra push. There we go. You, you know, True. you might remain up and coming mm. for the rest of your life. And I know a lot of artists are in that bag currently, mm -hmm. and I don't want to bag on them. I know there's they have those ones that like you know they sign for Sony or they sign for this person, yeah. then they leave and then they try to do this indie work. And I I do give them all their juice for trying, but I still think if you don't know the knowledge of the business, yes, you can go be learning, yeah. ask people, but it's not a bad thing to do the. Go through the machine. I know you might mm. get fucked over. I'm sorry, I'm allowed to say it, right? Mm. Like, like, you might get fucked over. I understand, but you will gain a lot. Because look at what Nasty's done. He's, mm. he's in his business bag. Like, as an artist, business-wise, and a mm. brand, he's learned so much from these And all those fans, all those millions of fans that you got through the label, when you go indie, they're going to go with there you. There we go. So it's easy. It's what easy. recent Java did. Yeah. So it's easy for you to become a Java, to become an Aries, to become a Nasty, mm. because you 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 walking away with all that support you got from the machine. You Can know, I flip you're the not question? starting from the beginning. Can I flip the question? I understand Nasty has gone indie, but are we... For, uh, my question goes to Ambitious because they're the most prominent in mm -hmm. terms of they make stars and shit happens and yeah. they go. So do you think their blueprint in a sense is like, if you leave, sorry, we can make another one. Is it, do you think it's that thing? When artists want to go indie or they want to do that, do you think that machine is like, dude, okay, fine, you learned this thing from us. We don't mind, we can make a new star. Then they had Kid Teeny and new people. Do you think... The, the labels don't worry about losing a nasty seat going indie. Do you think that's... that's uh, a... uh, labels, they know the nature of the business, mm. you know, and what they do behind the scenes. Respectfully. You, you know, as an artist, you don't know that there was a brown envelope. You think you, you blew up because you're hot. You, you know, that's mm. why when you leave, you're living with the big head that, yo, I'm Rashid K, I can do this by myself. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what was happening yes. behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why others don't make it after leaving the machine. Yeah, Not everyone makes it. Facts. You know? Facts, facts. And they still try. I give them that, but you're right. The machine is, I think the machine is essential. But with Nancy going independent, as I said, he's a father now. He's a man. I'm happy yeah. for it. Like, I want him. And he's, he's, and remember, we had the conversation on the chop where we asked why it will be his ceiling. Why hasn't he yeah. cracked that international touring or, yeah. and he's starting now and I don't know if it's I think it's from the indie motion but I'm happy he's going international sometimes sometimes the, the difference between indie and, 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 and the label and the machine is the budget mm. you know you can big, take big. You, you, you can take everything that, that, that you benefited from the machine mm -hmm. and then just Put put in your budget, yeah. your own budget, budget this yeah. time, yeah. you know, and still operate the same way. Mm. And do you think he's moving that way, Nasty? I think, think he's moving that way. Mm -hmm. I think he can afford now to 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 fund his own videos, his own recordings. Mm -hmm. his, yeah. And do, and do you think for future artists as well? I want to just pick your brain on this. As I asked, is it is said? Do you think it's important for them to go through the the machine? Like, do you think like should they not shy away from? Getting into the, even though you might get fucked over, Heidi. But yeah. do you think it's important for them as a it lesson? Is, it is very important. It is a a, a lot of rappers uh, um a street or mm. from the hood. They yeah. don't have that that, no that trust fund money mm -hmm. to say to compete with the majors. Mm -hmm. You know, the majors run the algorithm already. True. You know, mm -hmm. they control the charts. Mm -hmm. So you need that. Mm -hmm. You know to gain fans, yeah, to gain traction, that traction. When you walk faces. away from the machine, you already have that. Yeah. But it's very difficult to get that from the word go on mm. your own. True. And that's the thing, what I'm helping now, I think what's helping with the internet now, right? Which I think the internet's become like, it's like a new, how can I put it? It's scouting for, for, for the, um, the labels, I think, because yeah. obviously you can have your own motion. Let's just say, for example, a blackie who he is now with yeah. no label, right? Yeah. Obviously people, we want him to front the check. Yo, come sign, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. Yeah. So I'm just saying it's kind of easier now compared to when you guys had your time where you just yeah. had to do the radio, yeah. get on TV. And now it's easier for 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 the up and coming artists mm -hmm. because you can. T TikTok is like a demo, you know. Facts. 
Facts. It's, it's my man and Tony Diamond, they blew up oh, on TikTok, TikTok. But yeah. that's not the end of the road. Then the label will spot them mm. and, and, and sign them. And then they go through the machine. You Thanks. can use social media. It shouldn't be yo 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 your, your, your means opinion. to the end, and, like yeah, you, where you end up, like facts. like me. Okay, I'm 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 straight here. I'm gonna drop and do TikTok and do Facebook mm. and do Twitter. It should be. It a tool. shouldn't be. You use that to promo yourself, to yeah. market your brand, to sell your brand to the labels. That's a fact. You, you know, Blakey was big on on SoundCloud. Uh, huge. Before, yeah, on like huge, he was yeah, huge on SoundCloud before he got signed. Mm. So you use you can't say ah me I got million views on, on SoundCloud and you I'm think good. that's something yeah yeah no so that's a mistake a lot of artists make like okay you, you're getting these views on, on social mm -hmm. media you're mm -hmm. getting these views and then you think you, you've you arrived no that's just the beginning true and I think there's no knowledge about what the next step is from them because I think all they know is they see TikTok they see this yeah. person got viral they're like okay that's how I do it mm. so I don't think there's knowledge on that next step of okay I've gone viral I've had my few tracks and then approach the labels yeah. uh, Sell yourself to the machine with those numbers. Say, mm. yo, I got two million views on this one. Mm. I got mm. on, uh, on that one. Put all those numbers together. Say, yeah, I, I easily reached 20 million from different platforms. And these are the same numbers than the artist you signed. So you think it's like back in the day when they used to hand out the demos. Go out on the demo type energy. So go to the brand. Put it, yourself it, out yeah. there. Give them like on a demo situation. Go to the label and drop your... Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. I yeah, see what so you mean. So you use social media as your demo. Mm, I see what you mean. But for it, me, nice to see you well done on going indie, bro. Like, it's needed. Yeah. And plus, as I said, every artist... And I don't think he's going to struggle. Yeah, you need your money. Yeah, so I don't for think me, he's going to I think struggle. he's good. And I just want every artist to know that you will eventually need your money. Like, you will want to have all your money coming to you. Yes, there's more stress because you're a business now. Yeah. You're not longer just... You're a business feeding other people. So you need to always stay on your grind. Mm. But I just still say I'm happy for him. Get your check, big dog. Yeah. You, your father. And did you see? Did you see the um, summer nominees Come for, on. for best hip hop? Come on now! Uh, I have a bit of I don't know, but mm. I don't want to because he's my guy. He's my guy, and I rate him right. Yeah. But from when he dropped it to the traction that it kind of got, I was shocked of why he was a nominee. Yeah. But he's my guy though. The Flame album. Oh, the Flame. I'm not hating on him. Yeah. Flame, I ain't hating you, my guy. You yeah, know this. Yeah, yeah. But when he dropped it in the traction, okay. For think, context, we we got Flame, Word, Ugly. Got words, words, in, words and nasty the C, and there's and one more. I have it on my phone. Yeah, I got you. That's, I the, got that's you. the fifth one. Yeah, I got you. Um, and nasty C also took the most. I think uh, the most nominees were the hip hop because it was on best produced album as yeah. well. Sorry guys, let me just get the nominees for you. I remember this. Oh, okay, so on the on the hip hop. For hip hop, we have uh, Flame, No to Self. We've got Nasty C, I love it here. Yeah. Words, People Forget to Be People. Yeah. The Big Hash, Heartbreak. Oh, the Big Hash, yeah. And then Pretty Ugly Dust. The, the, the Big Hash, yeah. That one. So we have two Pitori. Mm -hmm. We have two East Rand. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we have one Durban. Durban. Damn, that's tough. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> that's tough. For me, yeah. who who's your favorite in the nominees for you? Pretty, who? without a doubt. The whole body of work? The whole body of work. I can't hold you. I'm on I'm for, for I'm for words. And I've been vouching for words yeah. since I'm at the deluxe for me, especially. Yeah. I feel like I know I can't so because I know Dust was put together amazing. The yeah, from yeah. track one till the end, how he how he curated every song. And you know pretty will deliver with the bars and then his artistry. But yeah. for me, what I like about words, I think with this one. I think I'm just coming off the fan of the TWC way yeah. to find this musically. Musically, words is up there with He's, pretty, you know. Uh, but Peter, that's a bit of a that's a it's not there yet. Pretty is a that's an OG in there. No, I'm saying yeah. in terms of albums, not oh, in general. general not overall. Don't you mean the general no, I'm competition. comparing these two albums. Mm -hmm. I'm saying musically, those those are two albums that are up, up there, there, especially from last year. I'm not yeah. gonna hold you. And then and then they're not gonna look at at music alone. You know, mm. and with numbers, it's between pretty and, and nasty. nasty. I think it's gonna go to nasty. I don't wanna lie to you. Yeah. Because I like for me, I like pretty's album, but for me, my favorite is nasty's because because I'm a huge nasty fan in the sense where yeah. you see me, what is the album he dropped after his, uh, that debut bad hair? It was strings and blings, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why I kind of lost it with him. Yeah. That and that and uh, Zulu Man with Power. Those two, I was like, yeah. hey. Then he brought it back with this, where you felt 
you felt him in the track, no mm. diddy. You felt what he was saying and you felt his growth. So I really think just based on the way it was produced and how it, mm. it comes across. But you know what might and give brand work. What, what might give pretty ugly the urge over, over over others? What would it be? Is that he's nominated again as best male artist. artist. Ooh. With that now that that takes him out of hip hop corner. Mm. Now he's competing Dude, with I'm an the artist. Rest. I'm a full on artist. Yeah, full now. on artist. Oh. He's competing with piano, Afro pop, and yeah, 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 you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that that gives him an edge over mm. over other rappers. Do you think his nominee, or if I hope he does win it, or whatever, mm-hmm. but Black King wins it. I hope you guys win it. But do do you genuinely think that? Um, these nominations are long overdue for him because he's been in the ten, been in this game ten years plus, hits ten years plus. So is it warranted to say that this is his time? Like it, it is his time. Like 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 I said on the chop, he his been, trilogy. Mm, he he kept on like elevating, elevating and elevating. Come on now. So now he's reached like like he has arrived. Like yeah. I'm pretty really ugly. I'm yeah. yeah I can compete I'm with that with, guy. Anyone? No, I, yeah. and for me, I can see it. I can see. It I, I I know his albums. His albums been dope, but he was still on the rise. On yeah, he mm-hmm. was still climbing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, now it's 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 his time. For me, for me, I still stand firmly on. The, I think Nasty will take the best hip hop. I really do. But if but I, for me, my favorite, I really would like Ghost to do it because, as I said, that album for me was put yeah. together nicely. Him and Mash, they never miss. And as I said, like he just showed me a side. It's like when a kid grows to a man. Now I yeah. saw you in a group rapping. Yeah. Now when the group starts, now you must eat on your ones as a man. You did it, and but I loved that. Honestly, I don't mind whoever wins. They're all good. They're yeah, all, they're all except good. for the Big Hash because that's not a hip hop yeah. album. Thank you. Yeah, Thank except you for the Big Hash, a- anyone can yeah. win. It's yeah. even. On, on on the DSPs, it's even under um, R and B soul. R and B So I don't know how they miss that and put it under hip hop. No. I think maybe the, the people are listening just got confused with the beat. I, but even the beat because are all, it's also... because it's because these rappers sing now. Mm. Now you can submit an R and B album to hip hop, and they're gonna think, oh, okay, this that Drake shit. And it's not fair, guys. We, it's not. You're it's killing. You're killing hip hop. Not like don't... that, but you're killing the art of what yeah. that's about. That award. Yeah. No. Be clear. Be clear. Like we know. We know that. Big Zulu is gonna release a hip hop album. Yes, sir. But the other, other album other. is not hip hop. Yeah. Imagine that, that album was submitted and nominated because it's Big Zulu, and then you like, ah, it's hip hop. I wouldn't be happy with that. But yeah. South Africa you, you would let it mean? slide. So, so yeah, let's be let let's be clear when it comes to these things, mm-hmm. you know. But do you think this is as I asked for pretty? This could be pretty easy, But do you think this? Because also Nasty is nominated on multiple categories. Yeah. Do you think he could clean house like? On on the day, just swoop all three awards he's been nominated for. Do you think he has the ability, especially with this album, brand wise? He, he has, he has. Um, hence, I said it, it could go either way. Mm. That's why I said mm. it's gonna be between pretty, pretty and nasty. nasty. Literally, yeah. you're right about yeah. that. It's those two numbers, yeah. brand wise, content of album. You yeah. right it's between those two. I won't lie. Mm. I won't lie today. Today and and the whole rollout plan and the marketing Oof, was and beautiful. It, it was so you know what I mean. It was beautiful. That's not many artists have. That's and that's why when we spoke about nasty going indie, mm-hmm. it's that approach that he has to. Not many of these guys on this list. Sorry, have have that. Yeah. Roll out or that marketing ability or even the eyes yeah. on their project like yeah. that. I do rate that they still try, but yeah. when Nasty C does it, you know it's precise, concise. He knows what he's aiming for. Yeah. So I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm very happy with the summer nominees. That's that's for sure, man. Um, another thing, I saw a lot of people complaining on social media about Buster Rhymes vibing with the piano cats and blah blah What's blah. What's wrong with uh dude, you know? So... And and I don't see. I don't see. I think. I think. Buster Rhymes was just happy, you know. He just got paid nine million, <clears throat> and and he was drinking and vibing. Whatever shit that play they 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 they, they could have played him, he was still gonna vibe. True, you know. If he loved it that much, he would have recorded. We've seen Buster Rhymes lacing verses in thirty minutes, and he holds it down. Yeah, yeah. If if he liked that piano so much. He would have went back home with a song or two, From, and I think he did. For me, I, I I think he's probably he probably locked in, or maybe people came. Or he probably but left with a couple is, songs. But thing is, people are acting like he was here on piano for the first time. And it's what he's it? been yeah. working with Anati. Anati produced uh, for Basta Rhymes. Thank you. Probably 
Yes, like Zuko. put him on on some piano. Thank you. And there's piano in the states as well. Mm. They are aware of this mm. of this genre. Mm. You know, people acting like yo, Basta was here in piano I, I, I for the first I think it's our community. Time. I think it's the hip hop community. Yeah. That's why we are so strict on what people can do and can't mm. do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially as hip hop artists, artists. I don't want to take it and back I, to my nigga Sweezer, but you yeah. see how the hip hop community went at him for the switch. Yeah. So I just feel like once you just affiliate or you step into that Yano's world, or you just they just we just get put off. But like, on, no. on top of that, on top of that, I understand that. On top of that, if you 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 in the studio with Buster Rhymes and you're a house producer or a piano producer, like play your out of songs. out of your good heart. Call Mesh Beats, yeah. call Tweezy, and say, "Yo, I'm, 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 I'd like you to play your stuff to this guy." Oh, big like, dog. Come yeah, on. You, you know, put him on. Imagine, imagine me as a hardcore hip hop head. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I get a plug for Ama Piano and I keep it to myself. That's not that wouldn't really make sense. sense. Yeah. That, that, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. You need to call someone and say, "Yo." I have this piano situation and, and I think you're the right person mm. for it. You Stop know, but we don't in. think like that in this industry, in, in, uh, in the South African industry, we don't think me. like that. You know, when we have something, we hold it. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, we yeah, hold, yeah, we yeah, hold. Like, this is for Pasta me. Rhymes was with me. Let me take selfies and videos. Mm-hmm. Let me trend. Let me shine. Mm-hmm. You know, True. let people see Pasta jamming to my shit. Instead of just calling one, let's just call a mash or a tweezy. Yeah. When you know he's more aligned with that, that, yeah. that route, Tell them to come bump beats. Let's yeah. build. Let's build. We don't have that. And that's something in our community, we are strict. We are so strict. Yeah. That's why, I, I, for me, I just don't like how they want to bag on my mans. Just in, our culture is piano right now. Yeah. No disrespect. Yeah. Let him vibe out. We are the, for me, I feel like we're currently the hottest country music-wise. Yeah. For me. Yeah. I said Nigeria. We're the hottest country music-wise. In the world. In the world. Yeah. So the one thing putting us on the map, yes, it's yeah. not the hip-hop, but it's, yeah. this is our but global sound. If, if there's that, Young opportunity, Come don't on, hog it. Don't do that. You know, that's for, that's what I'm saying. If Drake is messing with Kabza and Calvin Momo, that's a plus. Yeah. I rate that. Shaq you know. repost who's the kid now? Kane Keith. Shaq mm. reposted him. He's got so many international cosigns with also neglecting that there's hip hop niggas in in yeah. that that um USA people are recognizing. Yeah, I saw I saw the um, the Shaq OGs the, in the US. I'm uh, uh, posting my boy Kane Keith. Shout out my boy Kane Keith. I rate yeah. you. That's my, that's my guy. Yeah, he's on the lineup for Back to the City. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I yeah. rate that. We're going to see yeah. you out there, King. But for me, it's just that, that we're neglecting that there's so many other people that are being overlooked that we're just focusing on Pastor Rams bumping some. He's just he's in the club. What thing in the club? Hey, predominantly, it's hey, Yanos. Amen, hey, amen. Hey, Come on. The people must stop being that. Just let, the, let him bump out. It's our country, bro. This I'm a piano's part of our tourism, I'm telling you. Yeah, for sure. I'm a piano's sure. part of our tourism. Before we go um to our main topic for the day. Yes, sir. Hey, the the nota situation, hey. the accusation. Hey. Why? How? Like for me it's why did they put him in this? Like, why did they just throw him in the, the heat of the battle when it was between a female and MT, right? So when I was catching it on the net and seeing everything unfold. Yeah. And she told her story. First things first, her saying a man doesn't wash for four days is wild. Like, crazy work. But the fact that... You know, was that the same chick who said that? Same chick who said MT doesn't... And then MT threw the... the his rebuttal was she got raped by Nota. Yeah, That yeah. was his rebuttal to everything. Mm. That's why Nota got what, Was it in. before or after the accusation? Before... um After the accusation. It was after... Uh, the, the accusation. After the accusation. So after mm. she, she threw the first shot of he doesn't wash... MT, you got raped by Nota. Then she hit a video on on Twitter saying, "But no, that's a different chick." I'm telling you, it's the same one on the, on the open podcast. That same one, that light skinned girl with the hair. I'm telling you, it's the same girl. No, there's there's, there's, there's the only that, fans girl. As, no, Azania Azania. chick. No, I'm talking about this one. With the music. With the music. Oh, my bad. I'm talking about the OnlyFans girl. Yeah. You're talking about the girl who got cut off on that My Bobo situation. Yes, who got 59 uh, cents and then oh, and then and then sorry. apparently used to date yes, Nota. Yes. Now she claims she was raped by Nota. There's that case yeah. now. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like I, I researched the raw one because there's also that same one I'm talking about. The yeah. girl came yeah, out I saying saw that one, she but, got but raped. That was, and then, but, but that was just empty saying, saying that. that. Oh. Not the chick. But this one is the My Babo mm-hmm. chick saying she was raped by Nauta. I feel like it's it's tricky because now we're in the we're in the political politically um correct climate. So yeah. for me, if we 
invalidate what she's saying. We're going to come off as pricks or dicks. Or like yeah. We don't care about the female. Yeah. But we also need to have the aspect that men are also getting smear campaigns on them. You yeah. know, I, I'm not taking this from... Yes, he robbed her. He, gave, he, he, he blackballed with the music. I'm not talking about that. But mm. the rape itself, to throw such an accusation, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to... Because people haven't spoken like that. Man just saying no. She's saying uh, yes, but... Once you throw that accusation, and I feel like females are using that as like a last gun resort now. Let me just yeah. end this career. Like, he raped me. And I don't think that is okay to do. It's not okay. And I I don't... And after that situation, the My Babu and the, the apparent rape, they hung out together. It's not like after that, they... So then, what? Because I also saw on the Twitter she put out a there's a protection order as well from of some sort against Nota. That's what I was trying to oh, yeah. understand. Why is it so messy? And maybe are we getting thrown like, um, is it a publicity stunt? Because they said they're still chilling mm. together. Is it more of a thing? They just she just wanted her two seconds of the thing, or and she dropped a free, a freestyle. <sighs> We don't want it to be a marketing ploy. That's what, and that's what I'm thinking could be because you know why are we using rape as a marketing ploy? That's what I'm thinking because I get we want we're talking about her now. Mm. She's got us speaking about her. So I just don't know why we're using such things as rape. If hey man, let let let's let's wait for the for the law to take its course. Yeah. Because we don't want a situation where she was actually Jeez. raped mm, and, and we invalidating. And, yeah, and, I don't need and, we don't need that. She gets invalidated, and we don't want a situation where. She wanted to put on and, and it didn't happen. Yeah. And, and she's using the rape. As the... Uh, but stay to, relevant. Uh, yeah, to attack Nota. You promised me this and that. You didn't do it. I'm going to show you. Mm. You know? And if it's discovered that she lied, it's going to be a big blow to rape victims. Yeah. Like actual rape yeah. victims. You know? And because we have a problem of rape in this country. Yeah, GBV is crazy. Yeah. And then, and then we have a problem of other females using that to get what they want. It's a crutch. And I'm not with that. That's why I'm afraid of because now it's being so normalized. And it's like I said, it's like a last gun resort. The gun to your head. You raped me. You're done. Yeah. You can't do anything. Like everyone will believe a female because our GBV rates are so disgusting. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I'm like, when they say that, you can't never not take it serious because our climate is disgusting. Yeah. So I just hope that he didn't do it. I pray he didn't. And I just hope she's not... Because if she, it hits her back in her face, yeah. it's not going to be good for a brand. It no, really it, won't be good for a brand. One one day I'll tell my story because I had a same a, same, a similar mm. situation, but it was extortion. You, you know, so... Why did they do that? I, I ended up... I, I you ended had to up, pay. I, yeah, I had to pay. Sorry. It was a situation of... of Rashid, pay me this much. Otherwise I... Or I'm going straight to the police station. I'm going to tell them you raped me. You know, you know, with that, That's, yeah, you, and you got all these jobs, all, and you're, you're a public they, figure. You're a yeah. public figure. That's you know, the they're thing. gonna they're gonna cancel you before the hearing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you won't even get a chance to even hit I your became, side of the story. I became a victim of extortion because I ended up paying that money, and that's how it ended. So I'm um, gonna ask how much the amount was. It was a thousand. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh, it was she wanted mm. a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, you made it out. That's what I'm. At least yeah, you made it out, you, and you, I'm you happy about I mean. that. But for me, it's just I don't like. If 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 I understand music issues, yeah. The, if we can address maybe why he left off or why he only paid a fifty nine cent, I'm good with that. Let's keep it there. But once you start straying into GBV topics and deterring us from what the wrong thing he did and making it worse, yeah. and we don't know the true facts. Yeah. That's where I start getting uncomfortable with topics because. We don't know. Yeah. There's no facts. There's no yes. There's no no. And then we could get the the, the backlash when we're like, no, no, to was right. And then you're like, yeah. oh, females are like, oh, your guys are wrong. Let's wait. Let's um, we'll follow we'll follow up on the story and see how it unfolds. I just hope she's okay. If you got if it happened, I apologize. Nota, if it didn't happen, stay strong, big dog. Come yeah. on. All right, man. All right, man. Let's get to our topic for today. Ring a bell, then, Kuli. Sure. Yeah, man. Um, today. We're talking about giving back to hip hop. Yes, sir. I've noticed something that a lot of artists, once they make it, they forget where they came from. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Once they make it big in the industry, mm -hmm. they don't give back to hip hop. Some will, for publicity, for po positive publicity, mm -hmm. will give back to the community, which has nothing to do with hip-hop hip -hop, yeah. probably 
bipads yeah. and for, they make for, sure for girls. they make sure the camera is there yeah, giving the them there uh, and buy school shoes everything yeah for, for, for the kids they go to and a homeless person they give them this making it, sure it's instagram it, sees you it you know that's a, we all know that's a pr stunt yep. it's not really not but real we life. know these guys who used to go to hip hop sessions with the fucked up sound and still stay and still, in the whole and still, thing and still after the blow up and the money the the same hip hop session will go five more years with that same sound that mm. put you on mm-hmm. like out of common courtesy go there new speakers new mixer new mics for the session to just to, to elevate you can see the kids doing hip-hop. something you know mm-hmm. i see a lot of people taking pictures at schools giving mm-hmm. out parcels groceries it's all good true it's true. all good true but we know what you're doing that for mm-hmm. you know it's 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 it's, it's for the sponsors to keep coming yeah, okay, yeah. yeah this guy is doing brand friendly yeah brand friendly is doing mm-hmm. this for the community mm-hmm. but you neglected the actual thing that made, made you, you that put you here you're right you know you're right you're you right know, you're right you're right you're not you know you're not what what sipo toilet did he he said he used to attend slaghays where he discovered mm. pro kid mm. f easy and then he saw that hey these people are using fucked up sound so he broke he you broke know? boys and he bought he bought the sound for the for for the movement for the hip hop session mm-hmm. none of these big rappers big name rappers have done and most of them came from hip hop mm-hmm. sessions you, Do you know? know who's actually giving back to hip hop yeah which is actually kind of terrible because I don't want to call them the white man, but yeah. it's the sponsors, it's your Sprite, it's your, I don't want to say Henny, but it's I'm just it's all the Pumas, it's all these yeah. people who are investing mm. in the culture in the way you're speaking of, where yeah. they will go to an event and, niggas sound, here's this, here's the little lights you need, yes. here's the little thing, just make sure the Sprite, is, they're the only people trying now, in terms of the... Hey yo, what's good, good people? My name is Rashid K, the HNIC, you already know. We handle the Masterclass podcast. Youthquake and the HNIC Castle, all under the Masterclass Network on YouTube. Please su- subscribe to the channel. And if you want to ad- advertise on any of these three podcasts, you can hit us up. You know, you can also book us to come and host events. We also do public speaking, music workshops, and music conferences. You can book any of the presenters on the Masterclass podcast, the HNIC or the youth quick. If you want to advertise on any of these three, hit us up. We're available for business. Thank you. Mm. Jeez, that I've seen, or even the people involved. For example, if a black he hasn't, you know, he started out somewhere and then he hasn't come back there, I just really think people get so consumed and it's a lifestyle thing. I think it's a lifestyle thing. Yeah, I think yeah. you're so consumed because I think uh, we even spoke about it on the chop. Once you have that, that club banger, mm. once you're bumping in the clubs, you feel like you're up. You've got yeah. that elevation. Now, the people back home don't know mm. what a club is. They know mm. the back room. They know maybe the tavern. They don't know, like, what um, what's happening. That's it. And you want to keep that mm. brand. And Now you're a superstar. There you go. The guy who used to take content with the phone. Did you buy him a camera? There we go. Reinvest in the guy. You know, I see. Instead of that, they, they act like they take a left. Mm-hmm. Opposite direction. And I've th- seen, I've seen, I've seen big name artists, mm. um, doing features, and they, as long as they got their money, they, they never post the song, they never yeah. retweet. Yeah, they, I know. Like, that why did you do that shit? I, you know, like, and for me, I retweeting could thing. be could be like a way of 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 giving back or putting mm. somebody else on. A simple repost, just a repost. Like you don't it even have to post you, it. it. Just go to them. You a thing. Post it and you've done your thing. And yeah. and I feel like because with us, that's how we basically built our brand off. Like we would obviously shoot, shoot and then tag an artist and then we would understand just that little repost. That's all we need because we know that right now the currency is online as much yeah. as the clout is the currency. Yeah. So when they give you that little, that, the, the fact that DJ Maparisa has 3.1 million viewers yeah. and on his story, you know at least 150 or 1,000 people are going to yeah. see it. That little exposure mm. will help, and the fact that you that someone gave you to put cheese in your pocket, and you yeah. just won't do that little that little thing. They'll take you two seconds to do. It's not great for the game, bro. It, yeah. it really doesn't help it in. And they any don't way. think they don't think the like the 
the, the whole process of giving back. They mm. think what well, that shit they do on camera is, is giving, giving back. back. But we know it's a PR stunt. It's something that's planned, you know. But it, Big Dog, can I throw it can I throw it in this sorry to cut can I throw it in this way then now? If I know it's very selfish to do, right? But if I got it out the mud and I, I worked and I pushed, right? And yes, I, I got discovered, for example, at a street fest, uh, where the sound wasn't too great in that, but I'm up now. Yeah. But I really feel that I got out the mud. I deserve this moment. It's why not an obligation. You what? don't owe anybody. That's mm. why I said out of common courtesy. Okay. It's, it's, it's not an obligation. You don't owe anybody anything. But don't pretend that you you made it there by yourself. Facts. You know. Facts. The, the, there was no guy who was sending you free beats. Come on. There was no guy who was taking content with their There's no phone. guy giving you 50 rand to take uh, the taxi the uh, to the studio uh, session. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's, the, it's, it's, it's um. It's a cycle, mm -hmm. you know. It's a chain reaction, mm -hmm. you know. For me to to be able to speak here at the podcast, I didn't wake up one day, got here like podcast. There were, there, were, there was a string of events that got me here, yeah. and and there were people involved yeah. in those events. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna pretend like yo, I made it on my own. Mm -hmm. Nobody made me. I'm a self-made. That's on, a no. lie. Come. And for me, the thing mm. is that. We, as I said, I think artists are so consumed of getting it out the mud that they don't care about, I'm not saying they don't care, maybe they do care about the connections of the people that help them, but once they're at the top, it's all blurred because yeah. now, and, and we've, we've heard all this, and you've probably seen many, many of the mm. highest levels, they will tell, and you've seen them crumble or maybe you've seen them, you know, maintain, but they'll always just tell you it's quick at the top, like it's like this, you're, yeah. you're moving at a quick pace. So I, for me, I don't want to like, I'm going to bag on them, but I just don't really think they think on, of it mm. because they're so consumed of, okay, dude, I need to stay hot. I need to stay hot. So me giving back, I think for them, they might think it's a regressing thing. I'm I'm just trying to play devil's advocate in that mm -hmm. point that maybe they're like, okay, I came from there. Let's, I need to do no, something No, you're new. not. You, trust me. Giving back, you're not going back. You're not going back to perform at hip-hop sessions, but you're improving their conditions. Mm. You know, so the, guy who, find the, next yeah, the guy who used to take your content with, with his phone, you buy him a camera. Mm. You're not saying, okay, come, let's work. You know, he's going to get jobs. He's going to improve Proof. his... He improve his what, life. Yeah, his life and his work condition. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying go back and live that life again. No, just contribute and continue with your superstardom true true and i really feel like many people aren't but the one person i feel like who's kind of doing that is java and i will always give java his flowers even though yeah. he, he's old like obviously ricky og shit right but he yeah. is OGing things on another level yeah the fact that my man's he, he just had another sold out show yeah. on the friday when we're at the gig at the color and then he pulls up and yeah. he's pulling up with gear with everything for these kids yeah. and i'm like and wow. and what he did for the Quellers was wow. big, even though they were already they had buzzing. the buzz, but he yeah he OG he, them. He's he, like he, yo, he, he put them on, you know. And what like you said, Ricky used to do that a lot right. without without expecting anything, anything in back. return, yep. you know. And a lot of these um guys um who have labels, the, the big artists who have labels, they don't they don't sign talent mm. like pure talent. This kid has potential let me put him on they sign um a, um for their own benefit yeah if i sign this producer he's gonna keep giving me he beats hit. yeah if i sign this artist he's gonna keep writing some shit for me mm. you know it's always about them the game the personal game yeah yeah and uh, and, and of, of which is wrong and that's why i like java and, java and you is can't not... call that giving back it's because it, you you taking you take and for me that's why i love java so much because no diddy on that because mm. Uh, he took the Koilas, yes, they had their buzz, but they had a buzz on a street level. Yeah. He took them and put them on the national Mainstream. team. Mainstream. He gave them their national team call yeah. up. He's like, here's a. And also, they did that ad now, now with the shoes, that, that shoe that he's been pushing. Yeah. Put them on that. I'm like, Java is OGing these kids and he's showing them, like, guys, this is how you do the brand work. Yes, you're hot in the streets. The street yeah. should always be there, but this is how you do brand work. This is how you sell out theaters. This is how, he's showing the kids how to do that. And I really rate that situation. And for me, Right now, because my class for them is like nasty. It's the Aries week. They're getting into the kind of that pocket now because mm. there's new artists like Lotus Nova Pounds. There's other mm. people bubbling. Or there's a Blackie. Blackie is he's up there now. Yeah. Uh, so there's obviously new kids, but the people of my class that are slowly getting to that status, if they can just take a page out of Java's book of what yeah. he's doing, it's so beautiful to see. Like, bro, that's if, how you if, give if back you to make it big. If you make it big, I don't care who you are. 
Were you rapping alone? Thank you. You, you don't man. know anybody better than you. Come on. You, you grew up rapping alone all this time until you made it. True. Can't you bring those people or help them, like, and assist them? Don't don't bring them to you, but assist them in a way. The thing, and the person was really good at that. RIP uh, to a goal is Costa Titch. I know, like, all his, his team and his people that he had were people from way back. Yeah. He, he didn't do the... He, he knew Phantom. He's like, Phantom mm. Pat, that he's coming with Don't me. pretend like, like you... He, you, you he, you he's grew up rapping alone. And let's not act like the boy was speaking you know? Zulu his whole life. He needed yeah. the boys. He needed. That's why like, I rated him so much because also when I locked him into the conversation, he's like, dude, I'm about to get a new camera for this guy. I've been with this guy for five years. You're shooting yeah. before. So he explained to me that I've grown with all these people and mm. I've invested in all these people. That's why I'm at my brand. So if, as you said, if people could just, if, so I'm starting with the phone, mm. get me the camera. You're improving my life, my work life, yeah. and you growing as well at the same time. That's the guy who used to DJ for you, did you buy him equipment? Even though he's no longer DJing for you, like, come on, to to upgrade his craft. That and just and also put him on a. And it's not like you don't know these things and you don't know these mm, people. And you have connections. Also, making him just an independent DJ. Go gig by yourself. Yeah. Go. You know. You know this. Uh, this promoter because he knows me. Put my boy on. You know. Let him have his set. That's what I really want hip hop to be. And I feel like we're getting there. I feel like we're slowly getting there. But in terms of us giving back at the... It's going to yeah. take time. That one, I won't But in terms of our health in the game and how it's growing yeah. and the new wave and the new kids, just the new blood in yeah. the streets, the, we're doing it right in terms of giving it back that way. Yeah. But the way you asked me, I, I don't think we're there as... Because we, it's we, all the sponsors. We, we, we're not there. We're it's not all sponsors. There. Like, we, we need to do better. If, way better. If, if we want to su sustain SA Hip Hop and we want to make it to see it grow... Let's let let's do better. You know, I I did the masterclass podcast. This mm. is episode hundred and thirty four. Yes, That's, sir. Yeah, this is this is my way of giving back because I've been teaching about contracts, royalties. Mm. But it's not even. It's also back to the city. Let's yeah, also yeah. Because I'm also trying. I was like back to the city. You probably started. Then look what you are. You're on four or five stages deep. Yeah. You know, and there's probably someone at the time that did invest in there. Yes, the, the major people did land because they yeah. saw the motion. But before the motion, you had yeah. you had your team, and the people be like, "Yo, dog, I'll land with this. I can do that." And you built a monster. That is giving back to hip hop, big dog. You yeah, never even though it's business. This, yeah, you know, I'm saying this information we're giving out for free. It's mm, up to you what you do with it. Facts, facts, facts. You're right. You know what and I mean? you're doing a great thing because people need to tap in. We need more of these because, as I keep saying, we not we don't have the knowledge in the game in any form. Right? Bomb music. Just if you yeah. want to even get into podcasting, no one has the knowledge. Yeah, even even with the, I I I get booked in a lot of um music workshops. Mm -hmm. You get people saying the same shit every year. Mm. They bring these Samro people, Risa Yo. people. They say the same thing every year. Hey, this is how publishing works. This is how realtors work. Every year they talk mm. the same shit. And these kids, and we keep saying, yes, we know that the internet is there and it's available for you to learn. But I feel like, and I'm also someone that's like this. I need to be in there. I need to. That's why I enjoy being in the studio. I enjoy when we're recording. I need to be there because I, 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 I like to be like a fly on the wall. I need to see, okay, cool, this camera does this. Yeah. I see how you record here. Like, I like, some certain people might like to learn like that. And that's when you can ask some questions like, okay, let's, let's say you see a split sheet. Yeah. What's a split sheet? Then you can find out in the studio. Yeah. When you ask Samra about a split sheet, then they'll still tell you about that. But they'll, they'll give go, you a link to the website. You know. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you're right. You and Samuel, you guys get your money. Yeah. But for me, it's just, I, I really feel that like it's on that. Like, we need more knowledge for these children because there's a lot of artists. I'm telling you, this, we, you know, from all the music uh, workshops you've been to, there's a lot of artists out there and they yeah. don't have the knowledge. And we just need that. That's so why I appreciate shows like this. We need to give the kids the knowledge. That for sure, man. I hope, I hope the hip hop heads, the superstars, on, no. our people do better. Let's grow the industry for the better. Come on. You know, that's how we get our W's. And let's move to the free period. We have this segment where every week we profile up and coming artists yes, and producers. Sure. And this week on the rapper's side, um, we have a rapper from all the way from Durban called Clara T. She's a female rapper. Ooh, I like the females. I like that. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Did, I, I, did you check it I out? Peeped out? I peeped out. I peeped out. I saw the motion. I like that. For me, she's coming. People don't know it, but she's there. And I think yeah. what I wanted to just say about female rap is, mm. and we recently, as I said, we recently went to D. Koala's show, and 
the love that, that that girl has from like the females in the industry and obviously because we saw Nadia and mm. Muzli out there they're OGs now yeah, like yeah. they're really OGs and yeah. when I started to deep I'm like yeah these these are the only female OGs that we currently got yeah. and Gigi I'll throw Gigi in there like those are the only female OGs in rap that yeah. we, or these girls have to look up to so I just like seeing more female rap yeah, but know, Clarity Clarity is too dope <sighs> she's amazing and if not one of the dose, she's better than the most mainstream female Reese, rappers. come on. Even the guys, Reese. you know. And she's she made it to back to the CT 10K yeah. Challenge. She's part of the top eight. I she's going to she... be performing there, yes. competing for 10,000 Rand on well the second done. stage. Shout out to Clarity, come man. On, Clarity she's been dope. Dog. She's come been dope. On, I think bro. she needs to come out now. What advice would you give her in terms of... You're probably giving her mad, but like the one thing... Not maybe she could be missing, but you feel... This, she could tweak that could take her to the now you in the you in the big time. What what advice would you give if she's watching this? Like that one thing she could just maybe tweak or I think she 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 needs a proper team mm. and she needs like radio friendly music. Mm, cause, cause, yeah. I, cause, Cause I know she's she's the she's Lauren a Hill type, like a, a deep thinker. Yeah. But in South Africa, you need that song where you radio jingle. You, yeah, you need your feature radio young star now and just just to crack it into the mainstream. But then also she's, she's that, one step away. I also wanted to ask that because yeah. also me and Kane had a conversation where he's like Mike's genre that I'm good and you know Kane likes a good subconscious rap and you know in mm. SA subconscious rap it's it's un, for the underground really. Yeah, yeah. So for someone like that, he's like, dude, I'm kind of compromising my sound to feed the people. Do you think she needs to do that? And not compromise, but it is compromised because you're used to the Lauren Hill energy, but now you like not not not, not, not the whole sellout, thing. But not, not the whole thing. That's why that's why a lead single of your album mm -hmm. I see what was, you mean. was called commercial, mm. a commercial song. A commercial is an advert, mm. something that has to do with commerce, with it's money. money. Yep. You know, commercial. A commercial is an advert, so you can have one song, commercial song, to advertise your your, your project. But, yeah. Not true, every true. song has to be um, dumb down. down. Yeah, you know, true. Just a nice song that will grab people's attention to say, put. okay, I'd like to hear more. Nicely put out. And also, yeah. just could also get your quick opinion about the female rap game as well. Like, as you said, she's a breath of fresh air. She's harder than most niggas. But what's, not what's wrong with our female rap, but why aren't we having many? Why aren't we having another Muzli and a Nadia? Like, why? I'm not hating on them, but why are they still like, why are they still headlining like that, like that, when there should be a lot more females in the game? I think I think they don't put each other on. Well, you rate that it's a bit have, more. Have you, have you ever heard a female said, "No, I was put on by another female rapper." Well, I, a few, a few. Indigo Stella was put on by not by Nadia Nakai, but it's like three, four. I'm not gonna lie, it's not more than ten. Like it's three, yeah. four niggas. But know. how I discovered I discovered Indigo Stella through a label that had nothing to do with Damn. Nadia. I won't lie, I just discovered on a track that had Nadia. Oh my bad. Uh, I thought she uh, got that's, the cold That's side. your discovery. Yeah. That, that's not how, how she, she was, was discovered. discovered. Oh yeah. I thought it was one of those ones, and I, yeah. I don't know. Then I think it's a bit more cat. I don't want to say it's catty, but I don't know why they don't just put each other on because you know how you know women really are in this. Let's stick together. Let's work together. But yeah. when they're in that setting, it just they don't. I don't know why. And you hear there. them saying, "No, I, 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 I have my own label. Yeah. or started my own label." But where, where's the girls? Where are, where are they? That's what yeah. I, I want. I'm just trying to find out because let's be honest, there's too many niggas in hip hop. Like, yo, bruh, yeah. there's so much niggalations. Like, where are the females? Like, I'm not saying we need Nicki Minaj, but where's someone that's just going to add a little bit of sexiness into the game? Like, I get uh, niggas don't want to hear about my pussy this and my pussy yeah. that. I get it, but that sexiness in the game unlocks other females and there's other females out there that rap like Meg the Stallion and Doja Cat and them. There's females in South Africa that have that feeling. Yeah, and Why I think, I think their in? participation within hip-hop shouldn't be limited to rapping. Thank you. You know, we need female producers, female engineers, mm, female... Ooh, you, you're right, you're you, right, you're right, you, you're right. You know what I mean? Because their participation in hip-hop is... Rapping and shaking, and, shaking. It. Yes, and that's, that's it. Yeah, and that's a the, the the most of the crowd is like, I thought we've seen that because we've got the blueprint of Nadia. She's done that. Yeah, made it big. So when we want something different, and they're not producing, that's why I want to know like the state of the females. Do we? Yeah. What What do we need? What can we do as to give back to that specific and part of hip hop? See, I'd love to see a, a hip hop podcast by a female. female. You know, you, you know. Let's like, get Let's get a different view. Thank you, because yeah. I feel like. As I said, there's too many niggas in hip-hop. Like, damn. 
Yeah. Let's get some. Do like, you know how much? How annoying it is to get too much bass. Damn, like get <laughs> get a female in there and hold it. But you shout, know what I mean? Okay. Shout out to, shout out to the artist. Shout man. out to Clarity, Clarity man. To Clarity, all bro. the best, all the best. Come up, big dog. Keep yeah. doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. And then producers, we have um this guy called Soldier Beats. I wanted to. I was trying to look for man. I didn't re- manage to get him on the on the on the gram and that. I was also slightly busy. What's my man's about? Like, uh, he 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 produces. He's like, out there. Like, he, yeah, he's out there. He's out there. Produced for a lot of cats. He's still on the come up though. But, but he I doesn't that. have um a mainstream hit. Mm. But he's on the come up. That's why I'm profiling him. Mm. You know. I rate that. Yeah. I rate that big dog. You Thank know, you for shining your he, lights on him. He's really dope. He's really dope. Um, just search him on the socials. Um, Soldier beats. Mm-hmm. Um, Soldier on the on the beat. I don't know how he wrote his name. Mm-hmm. You know. But do you think um, to get into the producer conversation? Because we've recently seen now since Mash and yeah. not even Mash, but Tweezy, Luna, yeah, that those those goats, and then now you've got your Mash, who's like a full on, who's taken to the next level. He's in yeah. front of the camera. He's a brand now. Yeah. I feel like all, all, all producers are aiming, and also her cut the lights, he's a brand. Yeah. So uh, do you think more producers are aiming to be in the lights, to be, because you need to be a prominent brand to get your music out there. Be people to work with you, do you think someone like him needs, dro- was dro- trying dro- to... Drop a single, it will it will move your brand faster. Mm, okay. You know, dro- drop a single, feature artist on your production, you know, mm. the DJ Khaled way, how Speedstar used to do, do it, the Zucci DJ way. PH, you know, do that, like your 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 name is gonna grow through mm. that, you know. Because I feel like it's a bit harder for producers because as they normally the quiet guy in the back, and one usually gives them flowers. And I believe like producers are just as important yeah. as the artist. You talk need... through your beats, talk through your mm. beats, and get dope rappers that you can get mm-hmm. who, who can translate exactly what, what you, you need. Yeah, you know, and then that's don't just rely on. I'm waiting for rappers to. Mm. Jump on my beat, mm. you and know. I, just do your own stuff on the side. And Keep I hope, and I hope he does become a brand king. Please put your music out. You heard, you heard the advice first. Drop a single, take yeah. the time. But I really want to see this kid on the up. Like, um, you gave him the cosign. Big dog yeah. gave you the cosign. I want to nah, see. For this. sure. Shout out to Soldier Beat. Soldier Beat, big dog. Album review. Last part of the show. Woo. Last part of the at. show. That's the one I'm looking at. Yeah. You're on the youngster. Youngster. Come on now. They're one years ahead of time. I wanna say I just wanna say thank you. Because I said earlier, like I never really bumped youngster bar like the commercial or what's on YouTube. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. when I you you made me sit and like lock in. Lock in. And he's good. Uh the I think the track uh, it's the something the first track Bola some the first track though. Not the first track, track. Yeah. that's uh thirty one years ahead of time. That track was beautiful with omari hardwick oh, mm. that's international that's international feature yeah. that's my nigga ghost from power if you didn't know yeah. ghost from power i read and the things that he showed because he also did uh, another track um is it, is it called disaster or it starts with a d yeah let me just check the the playlist um first track is 31 years ahead of time then mm-hmm. there's minieta then there's slim young Slim Young was fire. Yeah, and then there's Coloniers. I yeah, love that. Yeah, <laughs> I love that, that joint. joint. Yeah, and then there's Face Mask, Crotman. Mm. Yeah, that was that was my. That's me. That's 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 mm. what I'm liking in. That's my thing. That's my thing. Yeah, yeah. My favorite. You know, and then Ispan featuring my man Loopster. Come on. Yeah, uh, I know Loopster is from here, Joburg. Appreciate it. Yeah, he's also a dope producer. You know, and then there's Throwback Thursday. Mm. I, I like that throwback does. For me, what I like about his the way he mm. the way he curates his albums, mm. there's there's obviously that he's gonna hit you with bars regardless. That's yeah, yeah. that's his that's his pen. But mm. there's also Jiggy Bobs. There's there's he, the way he curates it, the deep joints, the yeah. joints that get you on the throwback. I I rate Youngstar. Like this body of work showed me that he's really the king of Cape Town. Yeah, love to everybody. Uh, I hear you, but he is the dawn. Yeah, no, this Cape album Town. is pretty dope. Come on, this, I, I I fucks with. The, with what other joints album? are you messing with on the album? But what other, what else are you messing with? Uh, yo, I have a lot of. The intro, mm. that one years ahead of time. That one I, was I, I love sweet. that. that was you know, it. Slim Young, Coloniers. Mm. You know, Ispan also mess with that, you know, mm-hmm. on that Venek hook, you know. And he's not afraid to move with that. He, yeah. he likes he likes incorporating both. Like, I mm. like that. Like, he's not afraid to keep it as essay as possible. Yeah. 
And throwback Thursday, I like the concept. For me, I give it a firm mm. 8 out of 10. It's going to mm. be a 10 because we're going to keep growing on me. But off my first mm. listen, I was like, wow. Like, youngster, I'm shocked. I never gave you a try. I'm sorry for that. You you the OG at Cape Town. King of the South. King of the South. Okay. King. <laughs> yeah. You're giving King. it um an 8. 8 solid. I'm giving it a 9. Damn, no, A solid nine, 9 out of 10. Because yeah. it's a great listen. Even on the first, yeah. like it hits your palate different. You're like, wow. Yeah. I didn't expect this. That's why I'm like... Solid for me, solid, super solid. So go check the album Come out and let us know how what you think on the comments. Youngster CPT, that one years ahead of time. This is the Masterclass podcast. Shout out to my man Lou Will. Appreciate you on the highest. Man. We out. Let's go.